Welcome to another edition of Warrior Weekly. Travis Whipple joining me out front of the new Integrated Wellness Center, a beautiful looking complex behind us. Uh, starting off talking about football, Travis, a tough weekend for sophomore quarterback Evan Aber. Well, yeah, I mean, absolutely uh, a difficult place to play, first of all, in, in Husky Stadium, and they had, uh, I think, about 4,000 fans up there for that one. And, you know, as young uh, student athletes, you're going to go through ups and downs, and, uh, you know, certainly wasn't his best day, but I, I assure you he'll bounce back and be ready to go this weekend. Yeah, Warriors take on Upper Iowa this weekend. A little stat from their past four meetings, Travis. Uh, they have outscored the Peacocks on average 48 to 6 their last four meetings, so uh, should be a good game for Winona State to bounce back. Absolutely, and I, I think uh, also important to note is that uh, you can't take anybody lightly in the NSIC. Uh, opportunity to get a, a South Division win, uh, first one of the year, which would be great for Winona State. So uh, a good position to go down to Fayette, Iowa and, and bring home a, a W. Women's soccer also traveling down to Fayette, Iowa to take on the Upper Iowa Peacocks as they continued their dominance of uh, that team. 9-0 uh, and oh now, lifetime against the Peacocks. Yeah, nine, nine in a row on them. and uh, Another good win. Uh, freshman Jen Daru came up with a game-winning goal uh, to win it 2-1 for the Warriors. But um, again, I, I really like the direction this team is headed. They've played such a difficult schedule early. I think that's really going to pay off here down the road. And uh, Megan Rowland played a, a big hand in that win as well for the Warriors. So uh, again, uh, we're exciting things happening with, uh, with Warrior soccer. Uh, Warrior Volleyball also taking on Upper Iowa. Kind of a big week for the, the Peacock-Warrior battle. Uh, they swept them last night, three games to none. And uh, we'll talk to head coach Dave Simon here in a little bit. And uh, a good way to get back on track in the NSIC. Absolutely. You get that, that first win in the NSIC. It's a young season. Um, obviously a lot of room to continue to grow as a team. But I, I really felt it was a great group effort. I mean, a lot of contributors in this one. You know, of course, you're going to hear about Shannon McGowan leading the team in dig. She always always does. But I thought a lot of people got involved and got involved early. Yeah, I think that is a, a key thing that uh, Coach Simon touched on was a young team. You're going to need a broad uh, team effort every time if you want to come out with a win. Absolutely. You know, whenever your name and number is called, it's your time to step up. And it might be somebody different every night. And uh, it's, it's definitely a team win against Upper Iowa. Well, coming up next, we'll talk with head coach Dave Simon on his win last night and where his team is at this season. Uh, keep Stay tuned. This is Warrior Weekly. We are turning on the lights. So come out and wear your white. Support Warrior football. As we host Minnesota State Mankato on October 2nd at 6 p.m. friends when you save them money on trucks. How about over $6,100 in total savings on a new Tundra Double Cab? Just $25,990 after manufacturer rebate. Making new friends every day at Dahl Toyota in Winona. Welcome back to Warrior Weekly. I'm here with head coach Dave Simon, head coach of the Warrior Women's Volleyball Team. Coach, a uh, very young team this season. How have they been able to mesh so well? Um, just a really good group of kids and so the chemistry from day one has uh, been pretty good and I think that comes from the fact that a lot of the kids came to camp um, and our players came back and worked camp this summer and they got to know each other a little bit during that process and um, they're just all very committed and dedicated and so I think they got a kind of a common goal and that's been the, the backbone of, of their chemistry. You started off very well out in Colorado and in Michigan. Uh, how can you transition that success from playing teams in the RMAC Conference to playing teams in the NSIC? Well, I, I think it's just a matter of um, getting on track, which hopefully last night's win um, started that for us, started that process. Uh, the first week was a pretty tough week to play two uh, undefeated and top-ranked teams and then to be on the road. and. Um, I think we learned a lot about ourselves. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't come back with any W's, and, but now we have a chance, uh, starting with last night, to hopefully put together a little win streak before we meet, uh, come up against some ranked opponents again. And um, you know, I think it was good to get a 3-0 win last night at home. 
Speaking of that win in which you swept Upper Iowa, uh, what did your team do so well? You know, they kind of struggled against those ranked opponents, but really took it to Upper Iowa, three to nothing, and really left no doubt in your mind. What did they do so well? Well, I think last night, if you look, we were very balanced. You know, if you look at the stat sheet, we were very balanced, and a lot of people, different people contributed to the win, and that's important for us uh, to have that type of balance. And, um, and to gain that confidence and that belief that we're going to go out and win. And it was nice to be back home again. And um, I, I think those were just the factors that we talked a lot about trying to eliminate errors and um, not beat ourselves and make opponents beat us. And I think we did a good job of that last night. All right. Well, thank you very much, Coach, and good luck uh, this weekend. Once again, you take on Upper Iowa down in Fayette. So good luck, and uh, make sure to tune into that on the Warrior Sports Network at WinonaStateWarriors.com. Coming up next, more Warrior Weekly. At Hy-Vee, you'll always find the freshest, best quality meat in town. My favorite, the Big T. It's great on the grill. Add shrimp, crab legs, or one of our meaty lobsters. And it's surf and turf fit for a king. Plus, you can only get 100% natural Amana beef here at High V. Any way you want to cut, you got it. We are turning on the lights. So come out and wear your white. Support Warrior Football as we host Minnesota State Mankato on October 2nd at 6 p.m. Welcome back to Warrior Weekly. Travis, jumping right back into it. Uh, Warrior Golf underway this past weekend. Women's golf actually uh, off to a good start as well. Yeah, it took uh, seventh place at the Concordia St. Paul University Wildwood Classic. Uh, good outing. Um, Augustana as a team won it, but Winona State was right there. And uh, again, a, a great start to the, the fall portion of the golf season. They'll, they'll finish their championship in the spring, but um, they will have an NSIC championship in the fall as well. They are back in action this upcoming weekend as they travel to Marshall for the Mustang Invitational. Uh, cross country also underway this past weekend. Uh, they've had a great start to the season, especially for Kayla Goodmunson and Brian Lindquist. Yeah, those two lead the way and uh, finished 18th and 20th respectively in, the, in their last meet. Uh, but I think you, it goes without being said that the whole team had a great effort. You know, uh, uh, finished uh, very highly both teams, fourth place for the women, 10th place for the men. So um, a great outing in St. Olaf for uh, men's and women's cross country. Also looking at tennis here, uh, starting in fall, a lot of people aren't aware that uh, our women's tennis team has kind of gotten underway here, and Heather, P Heather Pierce had a big weekend for the Warriors. Yeah, absolutely, and, and we talked about it on our show last week that this was the only time as an individual in tennis you can move on and, and try to compete for a national championship. She came extremely close, made it all the way to the regional final, 64-player uh, draw, so she was second out of 64 players, and um, so really impressive for her. Um, has had a great career here. Uh, two others, we talked about them on the show too last week, but uh, Leah Dahl made it to the Sweet 16. She's a freshman, and Laura Lindstrand made it to the Sweet 16 as well. She's a sophomore, so great things happening with uh, women's tennis. They've got one more match uh, this fall, and then the rest of their season takes place in the spring. Well, that'll do it for this week's edition of Warrior Weekly, a big week for Upper Iowa, the Peacocks, as they take on several different teams here uh, against Winona State. Until next week, go Warriors.